Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Amnesia Rebirth. <gasps> Tazi pushed the cannon through the weak spot in the floor. And now we are so very, very close to that radio. To making contact again. So the doctor knows absolutely what is going on with Kasi. But then again, we kind of already knew that. We just didn't have the context for it. When the plane crashed, or rather when we woke up and crawled towards that bottle of laudanum, we got a flashback with him. The doctor said it was through the pass, here, on the map. So I just need to find my way to that. Remember what he said in that cutscene? Or in that little brief flashback? You must not allow yourself to fear. You must not allow yourself anger. Or it will get worse. Whatever is in here with us now, the expedition ran into, too. Oh. Think we're good? I was waiting. I, I was waiting for that to blow up in my face. I think we're good right into getting my throat clawed out. Even more bodies. Made it to the quartermaster store, but it is locked. Missing supplies will be treated as theft. Yeah, there we go. 
Oh! Oh! He's fast. Okay. Keeps Maka. Oh. He is. Look. Right, okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. Fuck. Oh. I think... I think it stopped. <sighs> Let me look around a little bit more and check on the bed bay. Ooh, matches. Just need to be careful. All right, so when we first entered the fortress, we didn't get to look around the exterior too much. Uh, so we're gonna just hug the walls a bit and. Sit, 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 sit. Make your neck. I can make it. Get them through. It's coming. It's coming. Oh, yeah, come on. Jonathan, we escaped through the big gates into the pass. Yeah, that's the thing. <clears throat> I can't move this. Not on my own. The gate's too heavy and appears to be locked. We would need a battering ram or something. But yeah, that's the thing. There is... There is an interim time period between the plane crashing and Tazi waking up in the, in the cabin of the plane at the start of the game. And Tazi was involved in the events of whatever happened, which involved the expedition coming through here and encountering the, the ghoul running around. There is... There's an enormous block of time missing. Is that something I see on the other side? No, that's just a bit of the tent. Okay. Let's take a look at this tank. For no apparent reason. I just think it's neat. Alright, so first things first. Uh, there is... A key right here. Next up, I think this unlocks it so we can turn the turret. Right? That's unlocked. Good. Now we're going to aim this right at the door and proceed. That's not the door. But we have another problem. There is no shell. This must be it. I'm locking it in place. A beautifully executed eight-point turn. Yeah, beautiful. Got it. Nailed it on the first time. Let's eject that shell. It's useless to us. I mean, given that we don't actually have a tank shell, I guess there's no reason to be pointing this turret over at the door. Ah, oh well. At least we got a key out of this. 
first there are a couple of other things to uh to catch out here Right, Leon's the guy from the, the mining company, right? Oh, uh, he's a huge piece of shit. Over here! I think this is a water pump. Here is one of the only places in the game where we can actually ta see Tazi's reflection. I... I'm just not thirsty. I should be, I know, but I don't think I can stomach it. So that's weird, right? Especially given that we've spent a pretty long time now in the desert running around, fleeing for our lives, panicking, having the adrenaline going, our hearts racing. And this isn't the first time she said something like that. She said that, uh, like right before we got to the fortress, I think, like right on the outskirts. thing that I want to look at before we get back on track. Do you open up? No, you do not. Dismissed. <laughs> I no longer require your services, Trunk. Oh, that's useful. Malik Timbora. Uh, not much to say here. Malik's handling forward prep as usual. Buying in supply lists and such. Remind Rachel to wire any extra needs to him in Algiers. Make sure to introduce him to Rachel early on. He could be good backup. Stop her doing something stupid. Same as he's done for me a million times. Also talk through the Tazi situation with him. He'll do anything for her. Even if she doesn't know it. Oh, sounds like a good dude. As the phrase go, follow the helpers. Do you remember Marrakesh, where Mammoth got into that argument with your dad about the mules? He was so furious, but all he did was stand there and say, It's your decision, Mr. Victor. He never even raised his voice. Well, I think he's getting close to that with the freeze. Positively sarcastic. Surprising that there's nothing here. Unless we can light this? I don't remember ever trying this, but I... Nah. Would have been neat. I'll get through this thing. All right, so let's head inside here. We've never tried this door. Well, it's locked, but we did just pick up the key from inside the tank. February 10th, 1929. Uh, four coils of rope, ten barrels of red wine, medicine, charcoal, iron, saltpeter, 
couple of things worth noting here. Uh, Korean medicine, NKHC sergeant for access. That's also worth noting. Tells us there's medicine around. I don't remember this place. It smells dead. Yeah, there was a big order of sulfur, plus all the dead bodies. Gives it that cozy uh, fire and brimstone aesthetic. That's all the rage nowadays. Ah, shit. Oh, well. It's... Woo. It's worth having this place lit up. Because we are going to be doing something important here. If low on sulfur stock, check medicine supply for ointment of sulfur. Boil to extract. Not ideal. Makes powder mix unpredictable, but better than nothing. Ask... Corporal Kadir, if in doubt, check medicine supply if low on sulfur stock. Sulfur, saltpeter, charcoal. That's the gunpowder mix. One cup of sulfur, one cup of milled charcoal, eight cups of saltpeter. And from the sounds of it, we're not going to get the the uh, sulfur in powder form. We're going to have to boil it from the ointment of sulfur. And I bet that's just going to smell great. I ordered the saltpeter for tanning, not for your powder. I've moved it up to my stores, and there it stays. Requisition your own. Delacroix, quartermaster. So we did run into the quartermaster store in the other building we were in, but it was locked. Stores, quarterage, shift, February 10th. De Guy, Desrosier, Bellinger, important. Before you take the goods up to the main building, check Corporal Delacroix is available. The quartermaster must be present at all times to check the delivery. Do not leave boxes out in the sun. Also, it's very important uh, that as you go down that hall, uh, do not use on metal, oil, oil blade after use. Well, we're not going to have to be worrying about that. Uh, as you come down this hall, please, I beg of you, take some rubble with you. Have some rubble in these trying times. Because if you don't, you may just run into the tripwire that controls the big ballista. And that would be tragic. Ugh. Oh, it slid right under. Fourth time is the charm. Shit! <sighs> Don't get caught up in the crossfire. I guess I should just have a look around. See if there's anything that can help. Oh yeah, this is another room that we're gonna have that we're gonna want to fully light up. So we actually have a lot to do in here. Because first of all, uh, we get the charcoal, charcoal. <laughs> the charcoal that we need. Is that bamboo? And then I think we use this for. Is this the mill? I think we're gonna use that for the charcoal in a second. This is a pot to boil ointment of sulfur in. So then all we really need is the saltpeter. Well, getting ahead of myself, we still need to find the ointment. And then we need to get to the quartermaster store. Man, Amnesia really loves its chemistry puzzles, huh? Especially the ones that end in an explosion. Right, let's mill the charcoal, if I remember how. Nope, not in there. And then we, do we shut this or do we just start cranking?
Yeah, now we can just scoop that up with our hands and put it in our pockets for safekeeping. Mother of God, what's happened to you? Good lord. This is probably one of the most grisly rooms we've been in. In a fortress just filled with death, the following items are off-limits without authority of the captain. Medicines, strong spirits. The cage is not to be opened without a senior officer present. Yeah, we can see the medicine cabinet through there. Can't quite reach it into it, though. And there's not that much to light, so we have to rely on the lantern. Jesus. Careful. Careful, this is rigged. Some sort of trap. Yeah, there is, uh... a tripwire tying a grenade to the door. So if we open it, it pulls the pin. There are ways around that, though. Um, one, we can go out the window, shimmy along the balcony, and come in from the outside. Uh, there's also this key uh, right here in his hand and we can use the key to then unlock the door and I think you can swing it inwards if I remember this right and then disarm the trap just have to be careful about this Oh, no! God, no, no, get no, out no. the window, out the window, out the window, out the window, out the window. Oh! Oh! I either badly misremembered how that goes, or I just blew that. <laughs> oh, God. Didn't want that, that to happen. Shit, shit, shit. Speaking of things that blow up in my face, uh, to those who come after us, I have failed. We try to die in defiance, but these devils will not allow it. The screaming does not stop. I cannot shut it out. I cannot bear it. They treat my men as a cruel child treats a puppy, reveling in the joy of their pain, and they watch me all the while. Aldra keeps crying my name. Gardinier is stopped breathing. He's the lucky one. Suicide is a sin, but the Lord has deserted us, and I will not give these demons their satisfaction. So here I take my stand and make my death on my own terms. I pray you do not tell my Ariel of this fate. Tell her... Tell her we died in some glorious, noble purpose, and that I was a father to be proud of. She has done nothing to deserve this hurt. Captain Augustine Lefebvre. Demons? Devils? There's another note around where they're called savages. And it's all very obvious racist language you'd associate with colonizers. The only thing is... Here, they got slaughtered by and are describing a literal monster, which kind of... Mm, I think it muddies the message pretty bad, in a really bad way. 
the context of the scene is informed a little bit more by some of what's coming up, but it still just doesn't it doesn't seem great. Even with what I know is coming. So thankfully we've laudanum to help us out with uh, that enormous concussive hit we took from the grenade earlier. Um, being absolute clowns. And this is something we read. Alright, so with all of this horror and gunpowder behind us, let's go make gunpowder. Starting by boiling some sulfur? Oh my god, it's right there. Right, why would it not be right at the end of the list? Let the air fill with the lovely fragrance of boiling sulfur. Uh, and then we, we still need saltpeter. But we'll take care of that. Okay, I forgot for a second how I actually get to the saltpeter, but I think I remember now. It's not actually a key that I need, I don't think. I shouldn't have taken this risk. Salim, I wish you were with me. Oh, you know what? I don't think I've gone up here yet. Oh! Hello. the jump scare was worth it. Incurring the wrath of the jump scare. Uh, and this brings us right back down to where we exited uh, the first uh, building we were in. And in fact, we actually want to come back in here. Because we were in the middle of exploring a whole new part of it when we were chased off by the ghoul. But now that it's had some time to wander away, we can come back inside and hopefully be okay. This is another thing that took me a long time to figure out to do on the first playthrough, by the way. Funny enough, I didn't fail the grenade in the first playthrough. <laughs> you run right past this. If you wish to have something issued from the store, apply to, uh, apply to Corporal Delacroix. Do not take them yourself. We're going to take them ourselves. Oh, fuck. Is it in there? Oh, it sounds like it's eating something in there. Okay, that's on the other side of the wall. It's like off over there. But the store, we don't actually need... It's not that locked door, I don't think. Unless it busted open. Let's now let's get out of here. Just needed... This and some matches. And 
to not get caught. Okay, okay, we can just run now, I think. Oh, there it is! a dream. Just a dream. Now we have everything we need. Let's go make gunpowder. And put that into a tank shell. An empty vessel that's just been waiting for us. <laughs> but, oh! Is that macaw? I can't believe that got me. <laughs> as soon as danger is out of sight, my guard just drops. Now we just take this out of our, our pockets, bring our pockets out, except for the saltpeter. The saltpeter is actually in some kind of receptacle. Yeah, that's about the right measurements. Sure, whatever. Oh well, I've got something. And so far, I still have all my fingers. Yep. Head up and try it out, I guess. We didn't get to the exploding part yet. Tazi. Tazi. <laughs> I'll try to get through this for you. Who's that little one? Kitty cat. Probably want to close this. Unless, maybe not. Maybe it doesn't matter, actually. Ready. I almost wish I had that creature. Well, what could go wrong? Seems like a bit of a safety hazard, but hey. Little one? Down we go again through another pit, through another hole. What? Fuck that hurts. Ah. Oh. God, little one. Them break. I've had them break, but uh, they're not broken now. What the hell? Are you all right? I don't know how to tell. Shit! I can't carry on like this. I need to get to the doctor. That's spine chilling. Like, that's one of the most horrifying and the most unique things about Rebirth is how much it's about the, the terror and anxiety of motherhood. Of parenthood, but of motherhood specifically. 
Like, I worry enough about my friends, my family. I have, I have a young niece who I love so, so much, but I couldn't imagine. Oh I need to get out of here. Something there, but we can't quite do anything with it because of the water level. Take care of that. And this lets us actually push this out of the way so we can crawl through the tunnel into the further into the cistern. Didn't like that. What? Oh. That, that was you. I can feel you. I felt you move. Hello. Hello, my little one. I hope you're not hurt. Don't you worry. We'll get you home. I kind of want to be selective about what I light here. I want to be a little careful. If we are to investigate further, then we will need to build a scaffold. We'll need wood and good length of rope. I think there's some break in the walls deep below. The water level used to be much higher, and we can see light shining through the water. Well, remember, we had that note about how there were ruins way far down below. It, it, wow. Let me use my words. There were ruins deep below the earth that they were excavating and they were Roman. the same blue light we saw outside the fortress. And wow, that is a descent. banking up a lot of lantern oil because I barely used it in the fort and I still came out of there with a lot of matches so doing okay I would be up one bottle of laudanum but <gasps> looked like 
like Tazi got a little bit of vertigo looking over the edge. That's a neat touch. Alright, we'll light this so I can look around. I don't think the ghoul's quite gotten to me here. I haven't heard it in a bit. Hey, extremely worth it. Trade a match for some oil. Oh, we want to crouch before we fall so we don't hurt our legs or potentially the bebe. second thoughts about those torches I just lit. It's apparent from the writings of Usem the intent of these newcomers. They came to us from a far place with their thoughts set on conquest, and they made us into their servants, their slaves, their prey, their fodder. That last word may also be translated as crop. Their origins are unclear, but it's highly likely that this was another incursion from the lands around the Nile or even into or even further into Persia. The queen had no king. Many princes came to court her, but none brought her joy. She was sad because she wanted a child. She asked her wise people to help, but they said, Why do you want a child? We are all your children. I must have a baby, she said, because I cannot be queen forever, and someone must be queen after me. Nonsense, said the wise people. We will brew you a magic potion, and then you will live forever. You will always be our queen. So that's what they did. But sometimes, when she was alone, the queen cried, because although she was mother to the world, it was not enough. The queen, the mother referred to the mother of us all, Tin Hinan, leader of the Kelhanan. They want to brew her a magic potion that makes her live forever. And she wants a bebe. It is the third day. I have fallen in with a group of Moorish travelers. One of them is suffering, struck with the curse of the king's evil, so I prayed with them for her fortitude, that she might reach the cave of the mother with all speed. They tell me that Tesemt is within two days' journey, should all go well. Yet there's an obstacle still to overcome. The path goes through the dem the demesnes of one Tarkin racy of race. Whoops. Tarkin rice? Tarkin race? A robber baron of the Ottoman people. Pilgrims must pay a heavy tithe to use his water and to travel the mountain pass. I have spice and three thalers left. I pray it will be sufficient. I can hold on. I swear. Oh, here we go. Assyriel, Goetia, ruling in the southwest part of the world, and hath twenty great dukes to attend him in the day and as many in the night, who have under them several servants to attend them. And we mention eight of the chief dukes that belong to the day and as many that belong to the night, because they are sufficient for, pra for practice. And the first four that belong in the day hath forty servants apiece under them, and so hath the first four that belong to the night, and the last four of the day, twenty and the last four of the night, ten apiece. They are all good-natured and willing to obey thee, those that are of the day to be called in the day, and those of the night in the night. And these be their names and seals that follow it. His eight dukes that follow belong to the day. That's a lot. Ulitur's seal, Karga seal, Bunil's, Rabus, Arasat, Ariel, uh, Quopiel, Malegwell. On that day, the people thronged 
the byways of the city. When the doors of the tower opened, the name of their new empress rippled through the crowd before her like dye into water. Tehana. Blessed Tehana. She stepped down, bareheaded and barehanded, dressed in a simple robe. And she walked amongst the people. Some cried out with joy, some wept openly. Behind her came Tamaku and the rest of the alchemists, bearing a litter on which rested seven crystal orbs. What in the name of God? Whose memory was that? Yeah, seven crystal orbs. We know what follows in the wake of the orbs. I think we'll hopefully be safe to light. <gasps> that was my fault. Wasn't it? Yep. Nada. Oh, the lantern's starting to go. Looks like it needs a top up. Yeah, we can afford to do that. We are actually maxed out on small cans. Shit. Oh, damn it. I don't want to make all this noise twice. <laughs> inside these drawers and be rewarded. Ah, uh, shh, sh sh okay. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, this doesn't seem like a great place to hide, but I gotta commit. Nope, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Yep. Maybe? Maybe not. Okay. 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 Where did it go? Uh... Alright, let's go. Go, 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 go. Now we're just gonna run. Shit. Okay, we're good. For now. For now. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, everyone.